Hello everyone, I'm really so sorry for not making any video in the last days, weeks, I think months. In the last couple of years, I really can't find time. I'm sorry, I really can't find time. Anyway, today I'm really so excited because finally, after a very heavy winter we had, we started to see insects. I am, I, 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 I waited for more than, I think, two weeks, three weeks or one month I just want to find some insects because I I miss macro photography I want to make insects macro photography today finally it's something like 23 grad and I'm going to to show you what's new that I have today new gear that will help me to make hopefully beautiful insects macro photos so let's go together and search for some insects i started to find a little bit actually i was here i think two years ago or three years ago and i like this area because there's a lot of insects spiders ants a lot of bugs So my setup for today, I'm using my Sigma lens, the 7300mm lens and if you know it, it has a macro function between 200 and 300mm and I'm attaching to it the Nisi close-up filters it's a close-up filters from Nisi and it allows me to, you know, to make the insect look bigger and to be closer to the insect and to have obviously a bigger macro photos or a closer macro photos if I want to be more yeah accurate the new gear that I want to, to, to talk about today yeah obviously you know this is the Codox 860 or something like that I will write the name of it Codox 860 and it is the Nikon version because obviously I have the Nikon uh, D90 uh, there's actually a lot of Kodox uh, speed light but I wanted this one of uh, especially this one because uh, the cheaper versions they are all of them they don't have a lithium ion ion if I am uh, spelling it correct they don't have a battery oh <laughs> they don't have a battery and uh, that's why you you have to you know to buy a lot of batteries or you have to buy batteries with a charger and they don't last long as I I asked my friends and they told me they have experience they had experience with these uh, speed lights but the problem is that the batteries last for only between 20 and 40 photos whereas this lithium ions battery as is written it lasts for 650 photos and with full power flash so that's why i got this one to have a lithium ion battery and to you know in order not to have a lot of headaches to take a lot of batteries with me so this one is fantastic for portrait photography for example i don't do actually portrait photography for macro photography is fantastic you don't you don't need anything more than that uh, this is the softbox uh, this is my old softbox I used to use this softbox or this diffuser on my built-in flash I adjusted a little bit I make it a little bit bigger from here in order to be able to use it on this uh, speed light 
now the problem is that this softbox is not so big I want actually the softbox or the diffuser to be so close to the lens for example right here and to be so close to the insect that I am taking photo of What I find it the most difficult part in taking insect macro photography is that the subject is not waiting for you. It's always moving, it's always flying and it's so hard to find composition and it's obviously it's not a beautiful photo to have a very normal photo of an insect on a leaf or on a flower from above. It's really not so beautiful. That's why you have to, to go down on your feet and to search for background for one hour i was trying to find something like that but every time i find an, an insect and i decide to go down to take a photo of, of its face for example and to have a background out of, out of focus whenever i try to go down the insect fly and disappear i was lucky with this photo of this insect here i found this insect and it waited for me until i went down and tried to take a photo of its face As I was backing up my gaze and deciding to go back home, I found a group of ants. By chance, I found a group of ants fighting with a ladybug. And I was lucky to take some photos of them. Today is not my best day, actually. I came up, I think, with two or three acceptable photos. Not so beautiful photos. Uh, the problem, as I said, actually, as I mentioned, there's not a lot of types of insects. Uh, there's no bees, there's no ladybugs. I found only one by chance. I will try, obviously, I will try to do that again in the coming weeks because uh, uh, the weather is started to be better and there will be a lot of insects, obviously, in the summer. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you are not already. And see you in the next video. Bye. You want to say anything else, man?